everyone, this is Ray here. To those out there praying for a better relationship, to those out there that's praying to get treated better, to those out there that's praying for no more tears, I want you to ask yourself this. How can God remove my pain when I'm not removing myself from the situation? How can God heal my wounds when I'm not removing a person who's causing them? You know, how can you get the heart that's meant to love you by holding on to the person that cares nothing about you? You know, you got to let go of what you feel sometimes and remember what you deserve. You got to stop rehearsing pain and you got to find the strength to release it. You got to stop giving chances to the people who clearly, and you know for a fact, take advantage of your forgiveness. Stop walking back to the situation that your heart ran from. Stop treating that relationship like revolving doors and leaving just to come back to the same reasons that you left it, and that's pointless. Why expect something different from a situation that hasn't changed? You know what, without any action, that cheater that always cheated is not all of a sudden gonna be faithful this time. Without any action, that friend that's always backstabbed you it's not all of a sudden going to be loyal this time. Words lie, but actions don't. Which one are you trusting? Ignore what they say, but trust what they do. When you got all the signs, why are you still searching for reasons? Why are you still praying for God to reveal more when you already know what it is? When you got all the pieces to the puzzle, why are you still trying to solve it? Stop overlooking who they are. And how they treat you. Because you're so in love with the fact of who they could be or who they should be. Possibilities lie. Sometimes. Most of the times, should I say. Don't fall in love with potential. Don't fall in love with your relationship's potential. Don't fall in love with that person's potential. Because you could be falling in love with something that somebody will never be. And I want you to remember this. Nobody can break your heart more than once without your permission. Take care of your heart. Protect your heart. And stop breaking your own heart. It all starts with you. Let's wake up now.